Oscar Sokas are some of the most commonly sold aquarium fish and can be found in tropical fish stores all around the country and all around the world. There are also some of the largest commonly sold aquarium fish, which does pose some challenges. In this video, I'm going to share with you a simple care guide, whether you already have or are thinking about getting these wonderful wet pets. Hi everyone, I'm Zunza with Aquarium Co-op. And yes, I did call Oscar cichlids wet pets. One of the reasons why Oscars are very popular is because of their personality. They do have wonderful striking looks with these big, beautiful bubble eyes, but they also do have a personality that matches their looks. So sometimes people refer to them as like their wet pet or they're like their water puppy because they will greet you at the front of the glass. You can train them to eat out of your hand and they'll even get like moody and sulk at the bottom of the aquarium if something changes, like you've just done a water change or have moved decorations around and they're not happy about it. Now, one thing to know about Oscars is they get to be very large. When you first see them at the aquarium store, you might see them at two to three inches and think, oh, that's a very cute, small to medium looking fish. Just know that they grow very quickly and will quickly outgrow a smaller aquarium within the first year. Adults can easily grow to be 10 to 12 inches in length and sometimes even larger than that. So it's suggested that you get at least a 55 gallon tank at a minimum for a single Oscar. I always tell people to get a 75 gallon tank if they're going to keep one Oscar as it does give them more swimming room to turn around and have more swimming space. If you are going to keep more than one Oscar, you are going to need a larger aquarium. I would suggest at least a tank that's five or six feet in length and upwards of 100 gallons. So how do you know if your Oscar cichlid is a male or a female? With Oscars, it's almost indistinguishable between males and females. They pretty much have the same you know, size, body shape, coloration. Unless you're going to be breeding them, it really doesn't matter whether you have a male or a female. But if you are going to be breeding, then you are going to want to know the gender of each fish. So you will either have to vent when they're young Younger, meaning that you have to look into where their uh, reproductive organs are and see if they're males or females. Otherwise, it's very, very difficult to uh, determine if your Oscar cichlid is a male or a female. So how much do Oscar cichlids cost? Well, they're actually readily available in the hobby and they're very easily bred at fish farms. So they're not very expensive. You'll find them from anywhere from as low as seven or $8. I've seen them like $6 before at fish stores, or if it's a little bit larger, you might be paying 15 or $20 for an Oscar cichlid, but usually, when you're getting a smaller one that's two or three inches, it's gonna be seven, eight, nine dollars right around there. Now you also might be wondering how many Oscars you can keep together. I always say that for one fish, a 75 gallon tank is fine. A pair, you know, preferably, like I said earlier, you know, five foot tank, 90, 100 gallons or so or, so or larger. You could do like three in a 125. I've had three in this 125 before, but it ended up where one of them wasn't part of the pair and got bullied and picked on and, and that fish went to another tank. Even though you have a very large tank, let's say that you have a 300 gallon tank and you want to put five or six Oscars in there and that might work as far as the bio load in the space. You just might have one or two in there that are very territorial or a little bit more aggressive and it still may not work. So just keep that in mind if you are going to have several of them. Now, Oscars do come in a variety of different colors. So usually you're going to find them to be like a tiger Oscar, like you've seen behind me, the, the darker colored one with the orange coloration, olive colored fish. So like the body is kind of an olive color and you'll still have that same orange or reddish coloration. And that's kind of more along like the natural wild type looking Oscars, um, but they have been bred to have other color variants. There's black and white Oscars. There are um, obviously albino Oscars. There are some that are kind of yellow looking. And then there's like short fins, which are like the natural ones that you have. And then there's some that have been bred to have longer fins, but that is what you find in the hobby and not what you would find in the wild. Oscars are from South America and live in tropical climates, so it is important to make sure that you do have a heater for your Oscar tank. Anywhere between about 74 to 80 degrees would be optimal temperature for your Oscar cichlid. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Oscars do get very large, and with large fish, you get large bio loads. So it is important to have adequate filtration in your aquarium and the type of filtration doesn't really matter. You can use air driven filters like sponge filters and moving bed filters like I have in this tank behind me. You could do canister filters, hang on the back filters, internal filters. The type doesn't really matter as long as it's able to manage the amount of bio load that the fish is going to produce and that you're easily able to maintain that. 
So what should you feed your Oscars? Oscars are actually omnivores, meaning that they will eat a variety of foods from animal proteins to plant material. In the wild, Oscars are opportunistic feeders and they'll eat anything that they can find, whether it's insects that have fallen into the rivers, uh, small uh, crustaceans, small fish, uh, fruits and nuts and other things that have fallen into the rivers and other vegetation that they find. In the aquarium, I would recommend feeding them a quality pellet along with a variety of different freeze-dried foods like insects and crustaceans like krill and shrimp. Because Oscars are not true piscivores, meaning a fish that consumes other fish, I would recommend not feeding your Oscar feeder fish. Feeder fish often contain diseases that you don't want to transmit to your Oscar cichlid, and they could also get injured when chasing those feeders in the aquarium. Decorations in your Oscar tank can be a challenge. These are very large fish, they're powerful, they could be destructive, and they've been known to uproot plants. Having simple, smooth decorations in your Oscar tank that won't injure them would be suggested. Also, it's important to make sure that you don't have too many decorations in your Oscar tank as it could impede their movement and take up valuable swimming space. Now, despite their size and appearance, Oscars are really not that aggressive as far as fish are concerned, although they can be a bit territorial, especially when they're spawning with a the mate. They can also be picked on by other large fish and other large cichlids, so choosing the right tank mate should be done carefully. When pairing them with other tank mates, I would suggest kind of large schooling dither fish like silver dollars. You could also do larger catfish like a common pleco, and you could also pair them with other medium-sized Central or South American cichlids that don't get very aggressive. Now, what about breeding? If you want to breed Oscar cichlids, obviously you're going to need a male and a female. What you'll want to do is you'll want to make sure that they are in a tank by themselves, that there's not any other fish with them because one, they're going to be very aggressive, they're going to guard their eggs, and two, you don't want anything eating the eggs or eating the newly hatched fry. So that really should be done in the tank all by themselves. The female will lay eggs on like a flat rock or some kind of flat surface in the aquarium. So it might be like where they clear out the substrate on the tank and they do it right there on the glass. And they will utilize that to lay the eggs on and then the male will then come and fertilize the eggs. And then they'll guard the eggs. They'll be very, very protective of those eggs and anything near the eggs. So once the eggs hatch, the fry are kind of free swimming. This is where you're gonna you're gonna have to you know do some work. You're either gonna have to like you know suck out those newly hatched fry with like a hose and put them in a separate grow out tank or you're gonna have to remove the adults which is not easy when you're talking about a fish that's 10, 11, 12 inches and you know a couple of pounds. The reason why you want to separate them once the, the uh, newly hatched fry have hatched is because they could be predated upon by the parents once they're you know swimming around freely. So Oscars are a wonderful fish to keep and they can bring you years of fun fish keeping. If you'd like to learn more about how to keep your fish healthy, then watch this video right here, which is all about fish health.